Okay. And here comes Diana. Come on up, Diana. Okay, come on up here, Diana. All right. Everyone say hello to Diana Lynn. And uh, thank you for those pictures. Um, I invite you to, when we baptize Diana, to take pictures or video. I received a text this morning from Good News TV. You are a viewer of Good News TV. Diana had spilled the beans. She had talked to Luke. I think it was Luke. That Susan. Susan. Okay. Uh, Susan Skelton and Luke last night and Luke this morning. Uh, she had told them that she was being baptized, and Luke, his the manager of Good News TV, had asked me, please take some photos and or video um, for us. So I don't know what they plan to do with that, but this is Good News TV. Right. So Diana, um, Diana has been studying her Bible and learning about um, our church, the Adventist church, for the last, what, two almost four years. In fact, at our banquet in February, I believe it was at our banquet, we had a long talk about this. And uh, she's been studying herself uh, into God's truth for almost four years now. 24-7. Yeah, <clears throat> if you speak to Diana, um, she'll, she'll tell you about the Bible, uh, Bible teachings. Uh, so she's very well versed in the scripture. And as you can tell, she is very vibrant, vivacious, and excited. Amen? She's a person that is just a, overflowing with a, a bubbly personality. We love that. Maybe you'll be one of our greeters, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I talked to Diane about this. I hold in my hands a baptismal certificate. And um, I'm going to summarize these, um, what it says, my commitment in baptism are baptismal vows, much like a marriage. You, know, you have vows and I promise to do this and that for you, etc. Yes, let's keep our six feet distance. Thank you. And um, Daniel, can you adjust the camera? Can we get it? Uh, can you see us both? <clears throat> yeah, make sure we, uh, you got us both. Okay, so I'm going to summarize these. And Diana is merely going to respond by saying... Um, Yes, or I do, however, is the appropriate wording. Okay, um, Diana, do you believe that there is a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and do you accept Jesus Christ's death on the cross as a sacrifice for your sins, and that you are saved by Jesus Christ? She says yes. Um, do you renounce the world and its sinful ways, and if you accepted Christ, then I just ask, you accepted Christ as your personal Savior? Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Um, do you accept by faith, by faith, that Christ is your intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary? And do you accept his promise that his grace, that his grace can transform your life? Okay, he's already doing it. Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word and that it is the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian? Amen. Do you want to spend time in Bible study and prayer? Amen. Um, do you accept the Ten Commandments as God's law, the transcript of his character? And do you, by God's grace, do you promise to um, um, order your life in accordance with the Ten Commandments and also observe the Seventh-day Sabbath? Oh, thank you. Do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus? Oh, yeah. Yes. How many say amen? <laughs> amen. And uh, as you prepare to meet Jesus, um, do you, is it your will to witness to his loving salvation by your life and by your words? Amen. <clears throat> do you accept the Bible teaching of spiritual gifts and that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? Do you believe in church organization, meaning uh, church can't be chaotic, it has to be organized, and is it your uh, purpose to support the church by your tithes and offerings and by your personal effort and influence? Okay, good. Do you believe that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and that you, by God's grace, will care for it, avoiding everything that is harmful? Okay, great. Um, do you know and understand the teachings as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church? And is it your purpose, by God's grace, 
to order your life in harmony with these teachings and principles. Yes. Okay, just a couple more. Do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion? And do you want to be baptized? Should we baptize her? Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> do you accept, this is the last one, do you accept and believe the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church of Bible prophecy and that anybody, regardless of race, nation, gender, is invited into fellowship into this church and is it your desire to be a member of this local congregation? Amen. Okay, there you heard it. You've heard her desire. Is there a motion? Now, we're going to baptize her in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We don't baptize her into the name of the Seventh Adventist Church, right? We don't do that. But we accept her as an official member of this church. So Vernon just moved that we accept her as a member. Is there a second? Seconded by Les and Bob. All in favor, say amen. 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 Great. Amen. So, Diana, we congratulate you. I want to invite you to go on with Barbara. She'll lead you to the back to get ready for the baptism. And we're going to baptize her. Go ahead, Diana. Thank you. <clears throat> we're going to baptize her immediately after uh, the children's story. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear myself. All right. I want to invite Diana to come, uh, come on in. Okay. All right. I want to thank Barbara. When uh, when we have a, a a baptism, female baptism, Barbara, our head deacons, is always here to help. Or when it's a male, Daniel. So I want to thank the ministry of our deacons and deaconesses. Okay, you met Diana already. And uh, Diana has been waiting for this day. She is very excited. Don't forget to take pictures and zoom in on pictures and, and videos for Good News TV. But um, um, in my conversations with Diana, I am convinced, I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that she loves Jesus with all of her heart. And her desire is to follow Christ, to make her life a witness and to grow in Christ and be a, uh, a woman of God. That is her heartfelt desire. She's almost tearing up right now as I say this. <laughs> and um, we want to thank you for your affirmation of this. Uh, when we do have baptisms, we, we talk about it in our board, and, um, and everybody is just affirming what God has been doing in your life uh, for the past number of years. And so, having said that, Diana, we are excited, all of us here, to have you as our of official sister in Christ, as far as membership is concerned. You've been a sister in Christ anyways, but as far as official membership on the books, that has happened, and uh, it is my privilege and honor and joy to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 <laughs> All right, let's have a word of prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for Diana's baptism this morning. Fill her with your Holy Spirit. Give her power and grace, Lord, to walk with you every day. Father, for those who may be watching, here live or uh, through the television. If anybody, Lord, is out there that is contemplating taking this step as Diana has, we pray, Holy Spirit, that you will continue to lead them towards that step to make that final decision and soon, uh, and that um, we will have future baptisms right here in this uh, in these waters. Bless Diana and guard her and keep her. And Lord, I know you have exciting things for her in the future. She's going to face uh, happy moments and joy. She will also face challenges. We know that you will be with her and strengthen her. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone here said, Amen. 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 God bless you, Diana. Thank you. And next we have our scripture reading uh, from Mildred Flores. <clears throat> 